Hey folks, video 5 is about a head turn with some anticipation added in. Similar to the previous exercise, you'll need to animate a head turn, but you'll include some motion prior to the larger action of the head turn this time around. Have a look at the timeline below. I'm going to grab all of those frames of animation and move them over to the right. This gives me plenty of space in the timeline to add in the anticipation. When I'm done with all of those drawings, I can move things back and link up both of the parts. I'd recommend drawing some thumbnails in a sketchbook or on a post-it note. This is a great opportunity to think about the story and character motivation. If anticipation is what happens before the larger action, you need to give your character a reason to turn its head. Let's go over a few tips. If you recall from the previous video, the high points in the head turn are at the beginning and at the end. As the head turns, the face lowers in the middle and the chin dips downwards. Make sure you try to animate with curved arcs. Let's also talk about perspective. Here's a shoebox that I add some post-it notes onto. <laughs> That'd be funny. Anyways, take note uh, that the blue and the green eyes are roughly the same size. And as the head rotates, the eye closer to the camera looks bigger. The other eye appears to get smaller. See the difference? Finally, here's a time lapse of the rough pass of animation. Take note of the sketchy line work, the center lines, the equators around the character's head. I can later map out the location of the mouth and the eyes on each frame. I think it's a good idea to duplicate your layers and experiment with different timing before you finish up. Notice I'm not really spending any time doing any cleanup animation. You gotta bake the cake before you decorate it. All right, here's the reveal and the final rough and the clean passes. Hey, do me a favor, go give this a shot. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.